Hi y'all, Bailey here with another Common Tree ID in Lincoln, Nebraska. Today we're going to be looking at the American Elm. Scientific name for this guy is Ulmus Americana. So that's a nice one because the species name is also the common name. So it helps us to avoid some of that confusion that comes along with more generalized common names. Let's talk about elms a little bit generally. So a lot of the native elms in North America are actually threatened by something called Dutch elm disease which is a fungus vectored by a bark beetle. American elm specifically is, has this beautiful, deeply furrowed bark. It tends to be uh, a gray-brown, generally a, a typical bark, but you see these really beautiful interlacing furrows here. Uh, it's got a really rough, coarse texture, and especially as it ages, it develops these deep furrows that you see on this older tree here in Lincoln. A way that we can always tell elms off the bat is of something really distinct about their leaves. So all species of elms, including American elm, are going to have a really dramatically uneven leaf base. So you see at the bottom here how it looks like someone just took a pair of scissors and cut that right off? That's actually totally normal and all elms are going to have that to a degree. It's really pronounced specifically in American elm. And another thing that helps us to identify that this is an American elm is the size of a leaf at maturity, so when they're fully developed, they're going to generally be three inches or longer, whereas the non-native elm, Siberian elm, that we see in Lincoln has really teeny tiny leaves. And another thing that helps us to know this is an American elm, it develops this shiny, smooth texture when the leaves are older, especially on older trees, as compared to red elm, for example, that would have sort of a rougher texture. And the buds have already burst because the leaves are out, but if we saw this in the winter time or before bud burst or before the leaves have developed in the spring, we would see really small brown football shaped buds, which help us distinguish this, and they're very pointy, and that helps us distinguish this from red elm, which would have red buds. So again with American elm, as I mentioned, the varieties that we now see around Lincoln are all resistant, doing pretty well from the ones that I've seen. We're going to grow to be a very large tree with a pretty sprawling crown and we're going to want to look for these interlacing brownish gray furrows, very distinctive, and then if we can take a look at the leaves we'll find that they have this shiny green top and we always want to look for that unequal base to know we're looking at an elm. Check out your neighborhood the next time you're on a walk and look for American elm. It's a great tree to have, it's got great wood and they last a long time. Thanks for watching.